if you want unprecedented blessings, you have to give unique offering. Welcome to today's DDRX. The prescription is say a blessing. And we are looking at our responsibility, the requirement for having blessings. Psalm 107 verse 2 says, Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Giving precedes blessing. Giving precedes blessing. You can store blessings for yourself through giving. In Luke 6, 38, the Bible says, Give, and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaking together, and running over will be put into your bosom. For with the same measure that you use, it will be measured back to you. If you want unprecedented blessings, you have to give unique offering. Uh, we have different examples in the Bible in 1 Kings 17. The narrative of the widow of Sarephat. This woman was left with the last meal. She thought she would eat this meal with her son and they would die in a time of famine. But a prophet visited Elijah. And Elijah said, give me first. Make cake for me first. You would think Elijah was wicked. But God was just testing the faith, the art of this woman. This woman gave Elijah first, and the barrel of meal of flour did not waste. The cruise of oil did not waste or dry up. So if when we give, just like God giving us Jesus Christ in John 3, 16, so that he could have many children, or Abraham releasing Isaac, so that he could become father of nations, so giving precedes blessing. Let me close with Psalm 20 verses 1 to 3. May the Lord, and this is a blessing, may the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. May the name of the God of Jacob defend you. May he send you up from the sanctuary and strengthen you out of Zion. May he remember all your offerings and accept your burnt sacrifice. Amen. Thank you.